Last day of moving for Father Paul Gofigan as he loaded the last of his belongings from the Santa Barbara Church and Priest Home in Dededo. But adding insult to injury, he feels he is being banished. I'm being ostracized and if you want to use a very good word that describes everything, I'm being blacklisted. Father Gofigan feels this way because he was asked to cover his former classmates parish in the States for a month. But while he gladly accepted, things changed quickly. All of a sudden I had a response from my classmates saying that uh, the, his bishop has denied my requests. So can I, I can only suspect that something was said mm -hmm. to that diocese. According to Gofigan, he has a history of issues with Archbishop Anthony Aperon, and this latest action of decree of removal is an attempt to cover his tracks. As we reported, Archbishop Aperon signed an official decree of removal of Father Gofigan as the priest at Santa Barbara Church in Dededo. But Father Govigan says the decree fails to mention the first letter he received on July 16th, removing him as the parochial administrator of the Dedido Church. According to news files, the Archbishop removed him from the position because he did not follow a directive two years ago to fire a church employee who was known to have a sex offense on his record. Father Govigan wrote a letter to his parishioners at the time stating that he did terminate the employee. However, a press release from the Archdiocese of Agania stated the individual still had an active presence in the parish as a volunteer. It is really an attempt. This particular decree is an attempt to correct in writing what was erroneously done and bungled up in the first place. And while the decree of removal signed this month states that Father Govigan did not respond in the allotted time, he says he did. And the letter was prepared by his canon lawyer on November 7th. The church, the church is always very compassionate when it comes to these these matters. And, and of course, this is something that was beyond our control. It is a force of nature. And so the courier service did not get here on time. Father Govigan is now a priest in residence at St. Anthony, and he says that just means he has a place to sleep. In the meantime, his canon lawyer has filed an appeal for a hierarchical recourse and a review of his case. He adds that an appeal can take up to a year, but if Rome agrees with Father Govigan's plight, he will be restored to pastor of Santa Barbara Church. However, if denied, he says his position as a priest can be short-lived, as it will be left in the hands of Archbishop Aperon. I am still pursuing the appeal in Rome, you know, and that's what my canon lawyer has also recommended. And so that's what we are doing. Uh, I will continue to be obedient to the Archbishop, to celebrate Mass, be obedient to Monsignor Beebe, who is the pastor of St. Anthony Church, and continue to do whatever he asks me to do, within reason, of course. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.